we want your experience with us to be a safe and rewarding one. To help accomplish that, we have produced this short video on construction site safety. Safety starts with what you wear to the site. You should dress comfortably, but do not wear loose or baggy clothing. Wear clothing that's appropriate for the work and weather conditions. Summer heat can be a hazard. Be sure to drink plenty of fluids and drink often. Heat exhaustion is triggered by excessive sweating and not drinking enough fluids. Serious cases of heat injury can lead to life-threatening heat stroke. Take rest breaks appropriate for the work being done. Trousers or overalls should fit properly and have legs without cuffs. Shirts and jackets should be kept buttoned. Sleeves should also be buttoned or rolled up. Shoes should be sturdy with thick soles. Wear steel-toed shoes or boots if you have them. Hard hats are recommended anytime you are working on site and required when overhead work is being done. Hand protection is important and in many cases can help prevent cuts and blisters. So wear gloves, especially if you're carrying things or involved in cleanup activities. Wear appropriate respiratory protection when working with insulation or in dusty areas. Safety glasses or goggles are always recommended. If you normally wear contact lenses, you should wear your glasses. Construction sites can be pretty dusty places. Hearing protection can be required around some power equipment. Don't wear jewelry or watches, and if possible, leave purses and wallets at home. Implement the buddy system where you keep an eye on a fellow volunteer. Don't be afraid to tell them to stop working if they don't look well. If the volunteer resists, alert the construction supervisor. Older volunteers especially need to be aware that balance and upper body strength weakens with age, and the ability to recover from the injury is also weakened. Be aware of your surroundings, especially when carrying long objects. Note where your co-workers are and what they are doing. Do not back up or move in any direction where you are not looking. We cannot stress enough that you exercise extreme care when using power tools. A serious injury can easily occur if you're not familiar with the correct procedures of operating power tools. So before you operate a power tool, make sure you understand all the safety procedures involved. In general, if you use it correctly, you'll use it safely. And don't forget to inspect the tool for defects or safety hazards. Make sure that what you are cutting is properly supported and that your power saw is properly adjusted and tightened. Inspect cords to make sure they are in good condition. Always use grounded outlets. Make sure the blade is clear before starting the saw. A jarring kick can occur if the blade is touching the wood when the power is turned on. And remember never to reach under material being cut. With saws and other power tools, Always unplug them when changing or adjusting blades, drill bits, or any accessory. Good housekeeping refers to the neatness and good order of the construction site. Maintaining such order is important in accident prevention. A clean job site is absolutely essential. Lumber or piles of trash should never be lying around. Such trip hazards can cause serious injury. There will be a dumpster on site and designated places for scrap lumber. Please keep track of the tools you are using, and when you are done with them, put them in a safe place so that they do not become a trip hazard for you or someone else. And if you see something lying around, please pick it up. If you see a nail sticking out of a board, remove it or hammer it down. We are all responsible for the safety of ourselves and our co-workers on the job site. To work safely with either hand or power tools, make sure you are on a firm, solid space. Do not try to work over rough piles of earth or on stacks of material that are not stable. Be aware of excavation, holes in the floor, steep drop-offs or other hazards. Use brightly colored tape or a sign to indicate a hazardous situation. And always watch for slippery conditions. Ladder safety is another area that requires your awareness. We often take them for granted, but not following these guidelines can cause serious injury. Only one person should climb on a ladder at a time. There should always be a person steadying the ladder for the climber. Do not use the top two steps of the ladder. Do not use the backstays of the ladder. They are not intended for climbing. 
Use the four to one rule. For every four foot in height, the ladder should be one foot out from the house. Ladders extending onto the roof should extend past the roof at least three feet. Always check the condition of a ladder before using it. And if there is a problem, check with your construction leader. Safety on roofs is particularly important. Falls are one of the most frequent causes of injuries on a job site. So when working on a roof, move slowly and carefully. Lifting and carrying involve simple rules, but they can be easy to forget. When lifting, stand close to the load. Bend at the knees, not your waist, and lift by straightening your legs and keeping your body as vertical as possible. Do not underestimate the weight of an item, and if it feels heavy, get some help to lift it. A fire can occur if we become careless. Always keep containers of flammable liquids such as paint thinner closed when not in use. In general, good housekeeping is the best way to prevent fires. There are usually temporary overhead power lines on site, so be extra careful when carrying ladders or lumber. Damp wood can conduct electricity, causing shock and serious injury, even death to the individual and possibly starting a fire. There is no way that a short presentation like this can cover all the information you need on safety. Safety meetings will be held each morning with your house leader. Remember, most of the things we have talked about are just common sense. Many of them are obvious. We sometimes take them for granted, then forget them. Here are a few reminders. Drink plenty of fluids. Wear appropriate clothing and shoes. Use hard hats, safety glasses, and gloves. Implement the buddy system. Be aware of your surroundings, especially overhead power lines. A clean site is a safe site. And finally, remember to have fun. We all want a safe work project for everyone so we can enjoy the finished product, a new Habitat home for a family.